Okay, so today's art score, we'll be looking at a painting by Alice Neal, a self-portrait. And again, the way that we value the art score is we use a system from one to nine, one being the lowest no, nine being the highest yes. And so grab your pencils, grab your paper, and let's get into scoring this painting. So this painting, I believe, is hanging in the Smithsonian um, Museum. Uh, it's considered an incredibly great work of art in some circles, and not in this one. And uh, you have to understand, I don't really care for work that has not been cared for in terms of its design. And so when we look through this painting, you'll see what I mean. And to me, design is really the thinking process and the language that art is spoken in. And so there's just some issues that I'm having with this painting. And so let's go ahead and get into it. So if I look at the painting and I ask myself, is there structure? Is there a clear order, a design, and a sense of construction, composition in this work? Or does it feel more uncared for, accidental, or unplanned, random, if you will. I think it feels ooh, kind of like halfway in the middle of that. I do believe that the artist did have some intelligence uh, in what she was doing. Um, and, but I don't think uh, it was really that well thought through. And so there's some nice things that are going on in terms of the design. I do like this curve that's coming along the edge of the couch here, right up through her, her, her fold and a shadow in this little, I don't know, this little wand. I don't know if it's a conducting stick or what. So I kind of do like that little bit of a movement that's going on in here, which is kind of neat. But outside of that, there's just way too many issues in terms of composition and design that have not been considered that are failing. And so I, I, I'm i gonna go with a five. I'm gonna say there's kind of a sense of design and order to it. So I can't say no, but it's not to a place where you can say, yes, I can clearly see the structure design behind it. You kind of have to feel it and look for it and and, and you shouldn't have to. So if we look at the color, the saturation here, as I call it, do you feel that there's a clear control of color? Now, what I will say is you don't have too many splotches and areas where color is kind of hurting your eye. But um, in the end, again, I feel like there's some intelligence behind the use of color. I do like the color uh, palette that she's used um but do i feel that she has a really great control or command over color and the answer to that is no but again i can't say no to the to the whole painting but i can't say yes to it and so i'm kind of stuck there right in the middle again and so i'm going to just go with a five and as we go through this remember jot down your answers if it's if you feel like it's a no, okay, well then is it a low, middle, or high no? And if it's a low, you put a one. If it's a high no, you put a three. If you say yes, same thing. Is it a low yes? If that's the case, it's a seven. If it's a high yes, then it would be a nine. In this case, it's a kinda, but it's a middle kinda. And so that's why I went with five. Now, the values she actually has a really nice sense of control over her values. You can see in the front of the couch how the values are darker. Contrast, as they go around the back, they get a lighter contrast. So that's, a, that's an intelligence, and, that, and that's her actually applying that intelligence to it. You can see the couch up here, how it gets darker around the edges, and then as it goes back behind her, it kind of fades out giving almost like a little passage to that end. You can see the values over here on this side of the couch are low contrast. And so she's really having a nice sense of, of values. As you come through, um, 
we do really see this this value here, this darker value, and we come into here. So we have this light, dark, light motif going on. The values at the bottom come up through. Um, we uh, we transition pretty nicely through these through these values, um, and then we come up to this white tissue cloth napkin handkerchief thing that she's holding. The values inside of her body are actually kind of nice. They're not really pushed that well, uh, but you can see form in there. You can see some things going on uh, that work nice. So I actually think in terms of value, I gave her a uh, seven. And because I actually think she has a very nice sense of value and she knows how to use it and she's making it do things. Um, I don't feel because of the lack of pushing the values inside of the body, I don't think her values are at a master level, but I do, I would say that she has a strong sense of values, uh, control over her value. So now let's look at spacing or space, I should say. I do like the shape that these that these are making, but as I come through here and, and I'm coming around, it's squeezing me through here. And that squeeze is so hard on my eye. It almost destroys the entire piece just in that one little moment here. So I'm squeezing through this high contrast and that light there. And then on top of it, once I get here, this curve here throws me out of the picture. There's no place for me to come really back into the image. Um, unless you go like here, but that's not a really natural feel. And so you're kind of just thrown out here. Once I come into this area, this is so jagged. This is smooth. This is jagged and verticals, and this is smooth. And it, it's just a, such a weird experience. And then I get down in this area and I see this blue, which is our signature. But the problem with that is right on the edge and my eye can't breathe around it, it gets stuck in here. And so to get out of here, for, I have to, my brain has to force itself out using more calories, causing more mental fatigue, just to, just to move my eye through here requires such work. How rude of the artist not to help me look at the work and experience it. Um, I actually do, on a side note, I noticed something. I do think this is kind of funny, though, how her feet are moving like this and her hand is moving up like this. It's almost like she's listening to music and she's patting her feet on the ground like, like a child almost. It's kind of funny. Um, and, I, and that's probably what's going on here. I kind, of, I kind of like that. But let's continue with space. So as my eye moves through here, this curve brings me down off the edge. This diagonal brings me off the edge the feet curve together nicely but then throw me off the edge and so for my eye to continue moving up it requires so much mental effort but there is no ease to this there's a dis-ease i feel ill i feel fatigued i feel tired just moving through here and so you have to look at art in a very sensitive way what is it doing to the eye? How much energy is it requiring just to be able to look at this thing properly? And so finally I break through, I come into this little place of peace in here, which is kind of nicely structured, it's nice. And then it jumps to this white, which is fine. Um, but then once it comes out of here, it comes up here to the top of her head. Though the head is a light value, your eye could easily pass through here, but then this darker value shoots it off the top of the page. This value shoots it off the top of the page. This diagonal shoots. And so it's like our head explodes at the top. And it's such a tight, hard uh, passage that it's, even though with the low values, there's so much stuff going up in here, these angles that are moving us up that it just becomes hard to move past it. And so this, ex this experience to look at space isn't, isn't easy, it isn't flowing, it's, it's very difficult. And it doesn't add anything to the artwork, it just adds frustration um, to, to my experience. And so therefore, 
I'm going to give it a three. After talking all about all of that, I probably should have lowered it, but I'm going to be kind, just give her a three. Now, in terms of soul, um, you know, if I was grading this on story and now seeing the pitter-patter of the feet and the moving of this little thing, this little stick uh, in this conductory kind of motion, it's almost like, you know, she took a shower listening to music and she sat down on a little couch while she was finishing a song and kind of just playing, you know, um, composer, if you will, to it. Um, but in terms of soul, I'm not, I don't really feel that, there, that she's really focusing on the energy of the subject. Sure, there's a little bit of motion here and a little wobbly, crazy looking arm here, but I don't, I don't feel that there's really any um, looking deeper into the moment. It's, it's, it, it seems to me that she's just trying to capture herself, the, the, the couch that she's sitting on, in her style. Um, but there's really nothing deeper to the painting. There's nothing that she's really, really trying to focus on, unless one would say it would be the music, which then I could say, okay. But that would lean more into what I would call story and not soul. And so... Again, I'm going to have to give this a, a three. And that's actually kind of graceful. It probably should be a, a two or a one. In terms of style, she does have a clear style. But on the other hand, it, 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 if, if you attempted a work and, and you weren't really caring so much about the anatomy that you're drawing, um, and you just allow it to be what it is, And you kind of just freehand drew something like this, you know, it, it's something that I would see maybe like a, a really, um, so like a self-taught high schooler doing. Maybe a lot of people in their first, second year of college doing. This isn't the, the kind of style that somebody who's been painting for many, many years should be performing at. And so it is a style, but I'll give it a six. It's kind of a style. People know her for it, but is it really like something that she's developed a voice out of, or is it just the level in which she can paint and, and, and compose and draw and all of that? coming together, creating this, this uh, expression. And then lastly, skill. Does she have a skill over her medium? I think she actually has beautiful line work. I'll, I'll give her that. I think she has incredibly beautiful line work. I love the lines that are used inside of um, the back of that couch uh, that are coming up through here, up through the arm, the different weights of lines. I do think why, uh, line and values are probably her strongest suit. Um, but in terms of skill, does she have a control and a, and a command over her medium? I don't really see that. You know, I see inside the brush strokes here all coming down vertically and then all of a sudden they shift over horizontally and then they're up and you can feel the curve of the brush stroke here. And then this is kind of just like padded in and, you know, you can feel like the, the, you can see the brush strokes here and it, it's kind of just like pushed in and um, I don't know, I don't get the feeling that there really, there really is a uh, intimacy control, an intimate control over the medium. It's just kind of put there. And so now I can't say no that there's no control because there is some sense of control but it's a kind of, it's not a yes, it's a kind of. And so I'll be generous and give her a six on that. It could be a five, maybe even a four, but I'll, but I'll, I'll go with a six. And so here we are, this is the score. It comes out to a 56. If I was advising a buyer or a collector, a museum to acquire a work of art, I would 
encourage them not to buy this painting because on the merit of the painting itself, it doesn't reach my 80% uh, uh, medium line, right? So you don't want to buy or invest in something that's going to be under 80%. If it's over 80%, then the work itself at least is within that top 20% of artwork. It's in that top 20%. And, um, and that would be something that's worth investing. Now, if you like the, 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 the artist, if you like her story, if you want to you know, support uh, her, believe in her, then buy the work if you like it you know, uh, or, or buy work from her. But if I was advising someone who was going to put their money into something, I would say no to this painting, buy something that's at least 80%. So when I add up my numbers, you can add them up. I got 35, I divided it by 63. It came out to uh, basically 55 and a half percent. So we'll say 56. And, um, and then that's what we're looking at. So what does this tell us when we look at the analytics here? Um, her structure, her saturation, her shade, her shade, her values were really um, high. And those are the three uh, parts of the artwork that I call the head part of the artwork. And you can kind of see where her values are very high, but the other stuff is about average. It's, you know, it's that 50%. There's, a, there's some intelligence behind there and she's applying it, but she really hasn't cared for it, mastered it. And, uh, and so in the head part of the artwork, she, she's, um, she's not really thinking through the work properly. Now, what's interesting is we get into the space and the soul of it. This is that emotional, that intuitive part of it, that, that aesthetic aspect of the art. And, or, or I should say maybe that poetic aspect of the art that, but you can see here that it, she's failing. She's failing at it severely. And so at that emotional level, this is what I call the heart part of the artwork. So you have the head and you have the heart. And the heart, she, she's just not in tune. She's not feeling the things properly. Now, she does pretty okay in the style and the skill part of the artwork. And this is what I call the hand. This is the, the, the final expression. So she has some command over her expression. But what is she expressing and how is she organizing those, that information that she's exploring? It's okay. What is she intuitively feeling? That's pretty low. But her actual mean of expression and expressing her, herself um, in a style that's unique to her having some level of control over the medium. I give it both of the six. And so that's actually pretty, um, you know, it's not a yes, it's not a high, it's nothing to write home to mama about, but, um, but it, according to this specific painting, now the way we would be able to judge the artist is by looking at about 10 of her paintings and seeing what the trend is. But in this specific painting, this is where we're at. It's a little bit more than average. And I think that's a fair assessment. Now, maybe you got something lower. Maybe you got something higher. Maybe you feel offended that I would say such a thing. Well, I feel offended that we have to look at such a thing. And I feel offended that, that these things are put up in museums and, 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 and shown to the world as this is what art is. And clearly the the masters of the past the holders of tradition would not agree now if you're on youtube and you're watching this do hit the like if you like it if you don't like it that's okay hit the dislike that's fine uh do subscribe if you like it or don't like it subscribe hit that notification bell so that you can uh get notified when we post a new video and also leave a comment. I want to know what your numbers are or what you think about the video. I don't like talking negative about work, but I have to begin to make it very clear that in my world, visual intelligence, visual literacy, 
visual communication is extremely important. And so sometimes we're going to have to look at a work of art that's not going to be rated that high. It's going to be rated a little lower. And I'm here to give that perspective. I want to encourage artists to take their work seriously, give them the tools to be able to take their work seriously. So if you're on Facebook, again, hit the like button, the love, whatever you want, or the angry face if you feel necessary, or that it would be necessary. That's okay too. Uh, leave a comment. I want to know what your score is. And also share this with your friends. And the same on uh, um, Instagram. Go ahead and follow us at Academy of Composition. Go ahead and leave a comment. I want to know what your score is and also share it among your friends. And on that note, Boom Bella, have a beautiful day.